Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up a backing track from YouTube into your Audacity. And it uh, should be similar in other um, DAWs. Um, so open up whatever backing track you want on YouTube, whatever whatever video is there. We're going to use this little blues one right here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to split my screen in half here. Then I'm going to open up Audacity. And that's going to go full screen on us. And then we're going to work there. Oh, it's not. Okay, so it's already split screen. If it does open up full screen on you, like so, if you're new to it, just hit your box button and you'll see you got two perfect windows, one on each side here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to make sure that this is in WASAPI mode. And what that's going to give you is a loop back. Now you're going to go over to here. You want to make sure when you go over to your light. So... W A S P or W A S A P I here. And over here where your where your interface is gonna be, whether you're using a, a live interface or whatever you want, a scarlet, whatever, go over here and you're gonna want it to say a loop back. So find your interface and when it says loop back back in brackets, click the loop back button. Then go up to your tracks button, okay? Click tracks and Add new and make sure you add it in stereo. Boom, there's your stereo track. Now we're going to push play over here. And we're just going to do a quick recording. And as you can see, it's recording. We're going to give it a couple bars here. And this is recording at 44, 100 hertz, 32 bit float. Just an example and you'll be able to set your levels later on now audacity is great for learning on and then you're gonna to want to upgrade later on okay so I'm gonna stop this recording over here now simply hit the stop button and I'll hit the pause button over here and now we have this now I'm gonna click the arrow back button and brings us back to the beginning now I say we want to put a track over that so what I'm going to do is go to, we don't want to loop back now, okay? So now we just want to go to um, our interface. So just go to regular interface. You can keep this setting the same here, W-A-S-A-P-I, if you're using a microphone. And we can go back and we can go to tracks again. What I like to do is use all my tracks in stereo. And if I change my mind later on... We can split them or take them away or put them on a left or right channel. Um, we can get into that a little bit down here later on. But here's our stereo channel ready to record. As soon as we hit record, it's going to be armed and ready to go. We'll hit the red button for record. And now what I'm using is the microphone and you can see it picking up down below on the left channel. Even though this is a stereo channel, I'm just picking up on the left channel, but I can move this channel to the right channel if I need to, which is very cool. And if you've seen any lines here, it's because I have open speakers and it's picking up the music coming out of them. And there we go. So now we can stop this track and we can start to go right back to the beginning. And you're going to notice that you'll hear my voice. And now what I'm using is the microphone. And you can see it picking up down below on the left channel. Even though this is a stereo channel, I'm just picking up on the left channel. But I can move this channel to the right channel. Okay, once again, I go back up and I stop that here. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. Now, say you don't want this on the left channel. Say you want this coming out of a right channel or you're going to do vocals to set up with both. You can go to your audio track button here and open that. And you can split your stereo track. Now, once that's split, they're split in half. They're, they're, they're adjustable individually. So say I want to take this audio track and I want to sw uh, swap it. We can, we can either swap it, we can keep it the way it is, or we can simply eliminate this audio track right here. So it's pretty simple. And if you can go, if we can go full page on this. And if you want to undo anything, go back up here. This is a part a lot of people don't realize up here. There's a back button. Boom. 
boom, and now we're where we were before. And once again, I'll give you an example of splitting the track now. We can, or swapping the channels. You can hit swap stereo channels, boom. And that channel just went on the right channel, which is cool. So we can toggle between right and left channels if we want to, just get the, get the sound that we want. And now I can still go back in and I can split the channels and I can eliminate that channel. Now we're gonna be on a right channel. And when I start speaking, it'll be out of my right speaker instead of my left and speaker. Now what I'm using is the microphone, and you can see and it that's coming from down below this side on the left chain. Even though this is a so this is a helpful area to get into um, adjustments and sound adjustments. That's something you're going to have to kind of figure out. Maybe we can do some tutorials on that later on. Um, Audacity is great to learn on, not so much when you really started getting into it, but it gives you an idea of how this stuff works. To finalize this stuff, we would go over and we would go up to File. And we'd go to export. Don't go to save project. That saves it in Audacity, but not as a usable file for you to use on a video or what have you. So go to export. And what I like to do is export as MP3. Seems to work the best. And uh, it'll actually save the file. And then you can overlay your your uh, music or what you, ever, you recorded. Overlay it onto whatever video you were recording. So it's pretty cool works out easy. I hope this little tutorial helped you guys out if you're just getting started out in Audacity. It's it's really simple and this is the meat and potatoes of what most people want to do. So um, all these other buttons over here you can fool around with and get used to it but most people can't make it past this first little startup on how to even get a backing track into Audacity. So I hope this helps. If you like this video please hit like, share, and subscribe and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks a lot guys. Bye.